let's take two katas, either from Gyokuryu, Yubikudaki, or from Takagi, and, and look at the implications of these katas for Randori, for sparring. And the katas start with this. Okay, I hold him like this. Okay, in Takagi I do this. In Yokuryu, uh, the roll is him. I am the tool. So first of all, the dream. He disappears. And holds me. Okay, and I hold him. So we have a drill here. And we alternate hands each and every time. So now I'm catching him with this hand. Okay, and this hand. So that's the dream. Just to be aware that somebody is behind me. Uh, now let's look at uh, two directions. One of them is Gyokuryu. When he holds me from behind like this, either here or on the neck, okay? So what I do in Gyokuryu, I do one and try to pass below the hand. Let's explore this passing. One, and now when I do this, he lets me go beneath the hand. And I go into Tani Otoshi. And I do it with the flow, giving respect to the kata, not to me. But when I try to pass the hand, if he closes the, uh, the gap here, I cannot lower my level and pass the hand. So I try and I use it to disentangle the hand. Now I've got the hand, I take it into Waki Zatami. The whole thing with respect to the kata. And break the elbow. What are the implications to us? Half clinch. And again in half clinch, two situations. First situation, he's an expert. So he's holding the half clinch, okay? Threatening me, closing the gap, okay? And his elbow is like this. I cannot pop the elbow in lower level. So I do the Gyoku Ryu Kata. One, break the elbow. One way Or if he holds like this, and the hand is loose, or he wants to maintain distance. Okay. Then I just disappear. And I do the Tani Otoshi. That's it. 